This is another of the products from SIP, which is their heavy duty cast iron spindle moulder, designed for professional use and is a serious piece of kit for any workshop. Powered by a very powerful 3.75 horsepower motor, more than adequate to cover all spindle moulding tasks that you'd actually want to cover in your workshop. Variable speed via belt change, giving speeds of 1800, 3000, 6000 and 9000 RPM. The 6000 being the optimum speed for the majority of spindle cutter blocks that you're going to be putting on the machine. The slower speed being absolutely ideal for the sanding drum which comes complete with the spindle moulder. The moulder itself has a very sophisticated guard for safe use to keep hands away from the working areas giving both pressure hold down and hold in. The cast fence arrangement is, has a 200mm aperture big enough to take the larger cutter blocks but ideal for the 100mm euro block which is in standard use throughout all spindle moulders. The sliding carriage incorporates a very nice fence arrangement enabling angles to be cut with ease. The fence extending as required. The fence also features a nice repetitive stop making it ideal for repetitive work where consistency and accuracy is required. This also features a micro adjuster for fine tuning to get this absolutely set to the position required. Another real advantage of the sliding carriage is not even only is the hold down holding the wood for you, but by having your hands on the sliding carriage, it means your hands are always away from any cutting edges. The fence arrangement to support the wood comprises of two good strong aluminium extrusion fences which are easily adjustable, as well as the main hold down facility which incorporates sprung wheels to hold the workpiece down, as well as the hold in designed to hold the wood against the cutter with ease. The spindle moulder also comes with a series of turret rings ready to go in to close the aperture in the table depending on the size of the cutter block that's actually in use or the cutters inserted into it, one of which is specifically slotted allowing for the tilting of the arbour. The rear of the fence casting incorporates an integral 100mm dust extraction port and it is essential that you actually connect one of these to a high airflow connect, uh, uh, extractor to remove the chippings whilst the machine is in use. The spindle moulder also benefits from a tilting arbour, the arbour being a standard 30mm to take all your blocks, but the tilting action from minus 10 degrees to plus 30 degrees enables chamfering or a variety of other cuts to be done with ease. Being a 3.75 horsepower motor, uh, you know, and a very powerful machine, this will require a 16 amp supply in your workshop and will not run from a standard 13 amp domestic plug. You will therefore need a 16 amp supply from your fuse board as well as using the Euro type sockets for that purpose. The spindle moulder also benefits from a very convenient optional extra of a wheel kit enabling the machine to be simply moved around your workshop if you are limited in space. All the major controls for the spindle moulder are on the front of the machine, being the rise and fall, locking for the rise and fall, and a rise and fall indicator giving you the height of the cutter block. The spindle tilt lever, again easily turned to adjust the tilt. Forward and reverse, and this spindle moulder is unusual in the sense that you do actually have a reverse facility making it ideal for using the cutter block underneath the workpiece at all times. LED display of the speed which is in use. The speed's easily changed by belt through the door at the back of the unit. No volt release switch, again, so that in the event of a power cut or power failure to the machine, the machine will stop and not restart automatically on re-establishment of the power supply.